Sky team. Let's have a look at the route they face today, Paul. It's getting a fairly familiar route, this one, over the last couple of years. Phil Liggett. My mum and dad love his voice, and uh, I used to sit in front of my couch and like watch Tour de France, and he used to be on. You got that sort of soothing voice, and I used to like go to sleep to it, I guess, you know, when you're up at 1 a.m., so maybe that's it. Phil's an interesting person, yeah. and I, I hear this from the, you know, the women I know, etc. His, his voice, it, it mainly comes back to the voice. He's just got this the, the, the syrup voice. Oh, look at, oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. In Australia's famous advice. I think it's the accent. And the distinguished look. His grey hair, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know, it's just that voice. It's like captivating. Um, very English. Very cool. Almost like a... Don't tell him it's like a James Bond kind of coolness about it, I guess. <laughs> I think there's something really special about Phil because uh, he does such a good job of uh, specifics in commentary and the knowledge and his research, but it's the way that he handles himself in his gentlemanly approach to everyone. He also has a, a tone of voice that uh, sort of uh, embraces the audience and um, it makes you, he, you feel like he's talking to you and not just to a whole general public. I personally grew up listening to Phil, so I think he's... You know, he's had a fantastic uh, side to the, or adds something so special to the sport when you listen to his commentary. Because I, I remember when I was really young, staying up late watching the tour, and it was Phil that was commentating. So I think just being around the sport and commentating it for so long means that, yeah, we just have that connection with him. I had the privilege of riding with him when he goes out with the groups in the mornings at, at uh, 7 in the morning and he just doesn't mind. Anyone can ride up alongside of him and, and have a chat and he'll, he'll talk to everyone. Um, I think he just likes to talk, so the job's perfect for him. He gets paid for it, so, uh, no, he's a nice guy and always approachable and you don't see him or hear him get rattled too often, so he's obviously very good at his job. That one's a policeman there, keeps us all in order. Lousy cyclist.